John chapter 12. I'm wrapping it up very soon. John 12. Men of God are running from pressure. They're running, they're running, they're running from the will of God. John 12, verse 27. I mean, have I say amen? amen? Here's Jesus talking. It says, now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Jesus said, now my soul is troubled. Here's the man of God, Jesus. He said, his soul is troubled. I love Jesus because he's the man of alignment. He has purposes in his heart no matter. Hey, oh, how Lord, no, what the, no matter what the persecution is, I'm staying with the will of God. I'm staying with the way of God. Jesus said, now my soul is troubled. Huh? Now my soul is troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? Father, save me from this hour? Don't we, don't, that's what we do. God, save me. Lord, deliver me. Save me. You know, God will put you in circumstances where there is adversity. And a lot of times when adversity comes, the devil saying, I'm going to put him in a tight spot. I'm going to put him in a tight spot. And a God allows you sometimes to be in that tight spot. That tight spot is either going to make you or break you. You're either going to stand or fall. This is well. you're either going to be a man or a boy. A woman or a girl. When that trouble hits your soul, when that adversity comes, especially in ministry, in your personal life, in your family, with your finances, what are you going to do? I've seen men leave God because they, they lost their job. I've seen men leave God because their wife cheated on them or because they got evicted out of their house. They just got so
and with many tears and temptations which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews. And now I kept back nothing that was profitable unto me. But I have shown you and have taught you publicly from house to house. Paul said, I'm in alignment with God's will. I'm doing the work of the ministry. Verse 21, testifying both to the Jews and also the Greeks. Repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, and now, behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. I'm going to read the rest of this from the Amplified. Verse 20. Verse 22, it says, and now, you see, I'm going to Jerusalem, bound by the Holy Spirit, and obligated and compelled by the convictions of my own spirit, not knowing what will befall me there, except that the Holy Spirit clearly, emphatically, and firms to me in city after city that imprisonment and suffering awaits me. But I love verse 24. He says, but none of these things move me. Come on, somebody. Paul is saying, but none of these things move me. I'm in alignment. I am compelled. I'm committed to stay in this thing. Lord, I'm going to submit and do your will. Do you know the will of God is not always comfortable? The will of God is not always convenient. The will of God. Why do men pursue and lead? Why do they run? Why do we lead? Come on. 
pressures, those kind of persecutions. But that's the commitment God is looking for. I said that's the commitment God is looking for. A heart that will submit to divine alignment, to come into the concurrency of God's policies and keep the ways. Paul said, neither do I esteem my life dear to myself. If only I may finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have obtained from which was entrusted to me by the Lord Jesus Christ faithfully to attest to the good news, the gospel of God's grace. It's unmerited favor. And now I observe, I perceive that all of you among whom I have gone No more. Paul, he went to Jerusalem. And they beheaded him there. He died. Paul died. I'm not sure they beheaded him, but he died. He finished his course with Joseph. Thank you. 